بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صلی اللہ محمد و علی محمد ویورز آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو دی ایپیسوڈ ایٹ آف دی آنٹرپرینئرشپ سیریز ٹوڈے وی آر اینٹرنگ ٹو دی ورلڈ آف ای کامرس اینڈ وی ول سی واٹ از بزنس اسٹارٹ اپ ود آؤٹ ویسٹنگ مچ ٹائم لیٹ اسٹارٹ دا ویڈیو دیز آر دی مین ڈسکشن پوائنٹس ان دی ٹوڈے ایپیسوڈ وی ول لرن اباؤٹ ای کامرس اینڈ بزنس اسٹارٹ اپ using e-commerce creatively, websites, doing e-commerce as an entrepreneurial company and finally we will explore another exciting entrepreneurial profile. E-commerce and business startup Throughout the evaluation process of a potential new idea as well as in the development of marketing strategy, the role of e-commerce needs to be continually assessed. E-commerce offers the entrepreneur the opportunity to be very creative and innovative. Its increasing importance is indicated in the continually increasing amount of both business-to-business business and business-to-consumers e-commerce sales. E-commerce continues to increase on an annual basis. The fastest-growing retail e-commerce category in few years was digital content and subscriptions, composed mainly of digital content downloads such as music, movie, TV shows, and e-books. Factors that facilitated the high growth of e-commerce on a business-to-consumers or business-to-business -business basis include widespread use of personal computers, the adoption of internet in companies, the acceptance of the internet as a business communication platform and faster and more secure system. Using e-commerce creatively Electronic commerce is increasingly used by existing corporations to extend their marketing and sales channels, as well as being the basis for some new ventures. The internet is especially important for small and medium-sized companies as it enables them to minimize marketing costs while reaching broader markets. An entrepreneur has to decide whether he or she will run the internet operations within the company or outsource these operations to internet specialists. In case of in-house operations, computer servers, routers, and other hardware and software as well as support services such as website information have to be maintained. The entrepreneur can hire web developers to design the company's web pages and then upload them on the server maintained by the internet service provider. Another option is to use the packages for e-commerce available from different software companies. The correct decision between in-house operations or outsourcing depends on the size of the internet-related business. There are two major components of internet commerce and front-end and back-end operations. Front-end operations are encompassed in the website functionality, search capabilities, shopping carts, and secure payments. These are only a few examples. Websites The use of websites by entrepreneurial firms have been increased at a significant rate. About 90% of small businesses today have operating websites. One of the key to a good website is ease of use. In a 2008 ranking of foresters of 114 websites according to usefulness, ease of use, and enjoyability, Barnes and Noble was ranked number one. followed by USSA, Amazon, Costco, and Hampton Inn. In developing a website, an entrepreneur needs to remember that a website is communication vehicle and should address these important questions. Who is the audience? What are the objectives for the site? What do you want the consumers to do upon visiting the site? Is the website an integral part of the venture's total communications program? One of the most important features of every website is search capability. It should be easy to find information about the product and services that a company offers over the internet. Other functions that should be available on every e-commerce website are shopping carts, secure server connections, credit cards and payment, and a customer feedback features. There are three characteristics of successful websites, speed, speed, and speed. Additionally, a website should be easy, customized for specific market target groups, and compatible with different browsers. One of the greatest advantages of the Internet is the simplicity of customization of the website's content for different market segments. A good example of website's development and operation is LinkedIn. The Santa Monica 
California based company is a business related social networking site mainly used for professional networking the goals of the websites are to foster member growth be the essential source of professional insights increase monetization while creating value for their members and expand internationally the platform is also being made available in more languages to further develop their brand across various international geographies there are some free websites hosting solutions available to the entrepreneur these include microsoft.com a 6 month free web hosting and emails a very good option zeming.com a free web hosting site and webs.com a free professional looking websites builder doing e-commerce as an entrepreneurial company the decision to develop a website and e-commerce site for your business is essential today first the product should be able to be delivered economically and conveniently second the product has to be interesting for a large number of people and be able to be distributed outside its own geographic location third online operations have to be cost effective easy to use and secure For example, one student wanted to fulfill her passion of helping women in a poor village in Peru distribute their products. Her company started by selling on a newly created website. Well, viewers, it's a time to open up a new success story of a very successful entrepreneur. The entrepreneur of this episode is Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie was born in 1835 and died in 1919. Was He was a Scottish American industrialist and philanthropist. Carnegie led the expansion of the American steel industry in the late 19th century and became one of the richest American in the history. He became a leading philanthropist in the United States and in the British Empire. During the last 18 years of his life, he gave away around about 350 million dollars to charities, foundations and universities. almost 90% of his fortune Carnegie was born in Scotland and emigrated to United States with his parents at the age of 12 Carnegie started working as a telegrapher and by 1860s had investment in railroads railroad sleeping cars bridges and oil derricks he accumulated further wealth as a bond salesman raising money for american enterprise in europe He built Pittsburgh Carnegie Steel Company, which he sold to J.P. Morgan. It became the U.S. Steel Corporation. After selling Carnegie Steel, he surpassed John D. Rockefeller as the richest American for the next several years. Carnegie devoted the remainder of his life to large-scale philanthropy, with special emphasis on local libraries, world peace, education, and scientific research. With the fortune he made from the business, he built Carnegie Hall in New York and the Peace Palace, and founded the Carnegie Corporation of New York, Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, Carnegie Institution for Science, Carnegie Trust for the Universities of Scotland, Carnegie Hero Fund, Carnegie Mellon University, and the Carnegie Museum of Pittsburgh, among others. Today he is famous as a pretty amazing example of entrepreneurship. Carnegie had a really rough life growing up. He spent his childhood working in factories and at night he forced himself to sleep as a way to forget his constant hunger. Carnegie eventually worked his way up to becoming a superintendent for the railroad company before creating several of his own businesses, the most successful being the Carnegie Steel Mill. Despite being one of the richest American of all time, he also served as a class act example of generosity. So we can learn a lot from this inspirational entrepreneurial performance, especially giving away and helping and being kind to all the needy people around us. In next episode, we will get information about methods of protecting ideas and other legal issues for entrepreneurs. So next video will describe all the important types of intellectual property including software and websites which have become unique problems to the patent and trademark office 
In today's session, we'll learn how to be digitally efficient and smart in this new e-world. And from Andrew Carnegie's success story, we came to know that we should try to be dedicated and honest and always be helping and generous to others. And also show your generosity by clicking on the subscription button and share this video to as many people as you can. And visit my these social accounts. Thank you for sparing your valuable time viewers to watch this video. See you in the next episode with more knowledge and information inshallah. Till then stay safe and stay best always.